Yeah, he's on it. Ready? Got him. He's good. He doesn't feel bad at all. Hit. For sure. Fish on, guys. Fish on. I just got tapped. Oh, bite, 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 bite. Ready? Fish on, guys. Fish on. Nice. I don't know what it is, but he is fighting like a monster. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, FS Adventures, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're at Four Mile Run. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the area. We got some corn with us. Uh, I got some micro lures. I'm hoping to cast them out, catch a bait fish, and uh, go after something big. The tide should be outgoing. No, it's incoming today, and it's rising. Hopefully, some big fish swim into the area, and uh, we get to hook them. See you guys on the water. So a lot of people ask me where exactly do I be fishing? So this is the Toyota dealership and we actually just go down right over there, right under that bridge is usually where we fish. And I've had great luck here, honestly. So we're gonna make our way down there and hopefully today is a great day. The sun is out, looks beautiful. Let's see what we could get on. Just gonna swoop on down here. Rods and corn in hand. The water looks super calm. It is high too. Let's go. So we just made it to the water. It is the highest I've ever seen it. I've, I'm hoping there's some giant fish in here today. There's a hot water discharge up on that side. The Potomac River is down the other way. And uh, usually the fish swim in here and sometimes get stuck. We'll see what happens. We're gonna give it our best shot. Fingers crossed, wish me luck. Alright guys, so I just cracked the can open a little bit. Just let the juices out here in front of us in the water. Doing that is always a good idea because usually what it does is it attracts the fish to the area from the sweetness of that corn. All that's left to do is actually crack this can open and chum a little bit out just because we'll get them to start feeding here and hopefully we can catch like a carp or a catfish. I mean, so many different species would, would hit corn. So let's find out if we could get a fish on this thing. Can ripped open, take a handful just like this and get it right out. We're just gonna do two handfuls this time. Boom. Awesome, perfect. Let that soak and uh, we'll put some corn on a tiny hook I have here and cast it out. So we have a tiny hook, just put a bunch of corn on there. And I have a Carolina rig on. You should use a round weight or an egg weight, but I'm using a bullet weight. Same thing, does the same job. I'm just gonna cast it out in the area that I chummed. And maybe a little bit closer, just like that. Awesome. And we're gonna set this rod down and just await a bite. Ooh, perfect. All right, guys, I think I'm getting a hit. Let's see if he moves it again. Yeah, he's on it. Ready? Got him. Oh, he's good. He doesn't feel bad at all. Come here, bud. Let's go. Fish number one of the day. I got him good. All we need to do is just land him. Come here, come here, come here. It's a cat. Fish number one, guys of the day a nice nice cat i don't know guys if you can see that he has me wrapped up with the corn all right let's get down here oh he wrapped me up good yikes you hear him croaking damn guys i don't know if you can see how he wrapped himself in my line but this is gonna be a mission to get out all right here we go guys fish number one of the day a nice cat Awesome. Let's get him back in the water and uh, try to go for something a little bigger. Other way, bud. 
Right here. There you go. Yeah, keep, keep, keep swimming out. Swim out. There you go. <sighs> Guys, I think I'm getting... I just got tapped. Oh, bite, 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 bite. Ready? Fish on, guys. Fish on. Nice. Fish number two. What is it? Oh, it's a cat. A different type of cat, but it's it's a cat. Wow, he's strong. Let's go. Two fish for the day. Another cat. Different species. He's like almost orange or brown. Awesome. We got him. Second fish of the day. Nice little brown bullhead. It's amazing to see how many different types of species could live in this water. It's phenomenal, honestly. All right, let's get this guy back in the water and uh, continue to fish. Thank you, bud. Here is how we're catching these fish, guys. I have a size eight hook, tiny, tiny hook with a split shot weight on the ultralight, six pound line. And I'm just honestly casting it out there, letting it sit and uh, awaiting a bite. Just like that. All right, guys, I just got a bite on the ultralight. I don't know what it is, but he is fighting like a monster. I can't really tell you the true size just because it's on the ultralight. This, this rod is super, super sensitive, but we are fighting this guy. It's a cat. And he's tiny. He's just strong. <laughs> That's unfortunate. All right. Let's get this guy out of the water, get the hook out of him, and let him go home. Here you go, guys. Fish number three of the day, another bullhead. They love the corn. I guess corn is a top bait for them. Awesome. Let's get him back in the water and uh, cast one more out. Thank you, buddy. Off he goes. Another hit. For sure, fish on guys, fish on. What is this? Another cat. Man, these things are everywhere. What is going on? Oh, he's feisty. Another brown bull hat. I think that's fish number four of the day. Fish number four of the day. This is the smallest of the fish we caught today, a brown bullhead. Man, always fun catching fish. Let's get this guy back in the water and uh, cast out one more. It's getting pretty dark. Hopefully we can catch a couple more fish before we get out of here. Thank you, buddy. As you can see, the sun is setting, so we're gonna call it a day. We caught four fish, all of them catfish, one blue channel catfish, and the rest were brown bullheads. Awesome day out in the water. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next adventure.